Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to play along with my She's Crafty Kit series and I am using a sketch from day five of Christie's Beautiful Life 13, series 13, um, which was a couple months back, but I am clearly slow on the uptake. So I have already done a video showing you what all, what is in all of my kits, which is fine, but I will do a really quick flip through. Just got a couple, um, Minte papers, and I've got an off-white kind of a vanilla paper, one from Paper Rose, and one from Simple Stories, which is actually from a Halloween collection, but it doesn't even matter, right? I've got a little bit more of this Minte product. I have got the word home. I have got a heart. I'm not going to end up using the football. I don't believe, although the subject loves toys. Maybe I'll look at it as a toy and use it. Uh, we've got some sequins, and my thoughts with this is these match really nicely. I'm just going to take out any of the little Christmas trees that are in there, or the pine trees. A few enamel dots. Oh, but wait. I have got these really great flare right here. I have got all of these amazing... Ooh, time for fun would work with the idea. All of these amazing um, chipboard frames, which is going to let me start cranking out some um, shaker pockets because I need them. And I have cardstock stickers. So I'm sitting pretty as things go. So I have that. I've got this exquisite photo here of Blue sitting at home. That's why I thought I could use home. The heart totally works because he is my heart. He's such a naughty little boy. And here is my sketch I'm working for. So Christine Steele Harden created it. We've got torn bit, torn bit. She has three photos in one. I think I'll have my one photo there and try to go pretty heavy up here with some kind of embellishments. I don't know. So we have that. So with that in mind, let's just jump right in and start. Now I do want to go ahead and... Um, why doesn't that seem, there you go. I want to go ahead and just get this going. I don't know why I'm trimming this one. I, which one did I, oh, this is gonna be one of them that I'm decorating with. I'm gonna decorate with this and for my background, I'm gonna use that kind of cream paper that it is from Echo Park. Okay, we've got a little orange strip there. I probably won't need it. Ooh, I like that gray. <gasps> Ooh, I like the gray a lot. We'll see if I decide to go with the gray. Okay, and then we have, oh, didn't trim this one. We have this one here from Echo Park as well. And guys, the difference between this vanilla color and the white, it is, especially when it's a little bit gloomy outside, it is not easy to see that difference. Okay, so this is my background regardless, right? Oh, we have a barky going on. Now, our sketch has a piece here and a piece here. Great. Oh, okay. So it looks like on the sketch, the dark piece is, or the piece up top is darker and the piece on the bottom is lighter. So let's kind of do that vibe. And I don't tend to worry too much. Tears work out. They just end up looking good. Now this one, I like this darker bit to be on the bottom. So this one needs to go, let's see if it goes to there, to there. We'll tear about right here, ish. Perfect. So what we can do is we can start bending some of this before I attach it down because it might be a little easier. I can always squish it back if that works. Okay, so we have that. Go ahead and bend this. This one just has a smaller plaid on the other side. No big deal. Did I tell you guys? <laughs> yeah, that I'm just doing this picture of blue. He was still slightly awkward there. He wasn't chonky yet like he is. And his eyeballs were, were taking over his head. It's kind of funny. Okay, so let's go ahead. Ugh. Come on, there we go. And get this on this off-white paper. And guys, I have, I know I just started this. I'm only on day five. I am loving using up stash. However, 
<laughs> I'm not using it as much as I wanted. I get these ideas that I am going to blow through the stash when I do this stuff. I would if I wasn't putting in, um, you know, large packages of things, but I'm doing large packages just to see if I can use up a lot. And, you know, at the end of this little party, if I am not like totally feeling the, whatever the embellishments are, I do not hold on to things that don't inspire me. It's just not my vibe. So I will, at that point, if I'm not feeling it, I will just pass it on to the group that I pass things on to. I need to go ahead and mat that with a piece of a white cardstock. I'm looking, I keep like, look at this mess. This thing of white cardstock and acetates um, for, I, well, look at that. I keep them, let me learn how to speak, so that I can mat photos and, you know, just back. Ooh, that's nice. And I can back shaker pockets and all that kind of stuff with my scraps that are left over from things. So I'll use them. You know, I usually get them, usually, from cut files. So, you know, it all works out. It's fine. It is fine. It is fine. Now, I have used, um, in my previous four layouts, all but one of my wood pieces. I figure that is pretty good. So I have to remind myself, it says autumn paints nature in gold. So if I have a naturey one, I have to try to get it on there. I'm trying to cull the herd of some of these supplies, my friends. Okay, so we have that. I know this is cream, but I like a little bit of white and we'll have other white, so it'll be fine. Oh, his photo is gonna be here-ish. Got it. Now, we've got navy and these are some other papers that I have. I have this, I definitely like the idea. I know what I'll do on this one. Okay, since I have some torn pieces, as we all know, why don't we go ahead and we can mat this up a couple, oh boy, let me go kind of like that because we won't be able to get it in. Let me go ahead and just start matting this a little bit more and I want to have a torn bottom because sometimes I like the vibe. I already started some tears, so let's keep the tears going. I'm not keeping stuff like this for the disclosure situation. Now, I do like a bit of this brown, but I have these really large embellishments to look at too. And I could, in theory, use any of this. Now, the black and the brown is, hmm, that's just denim. I didn't think this one through that well, did I? Ooh. We can do a little bit of this. And these actually fold up into these little envelopes from Mente. They're really cute. But I wasn't really, really, really wanting the black with it. So we have this, and we're going to have Mr. Butte, right? And according to this, it wants the title right there. But, yeah, we're not going to do that. I won't have the motorcycle showing. He, he doesn't, you know, ride that much, <laughs> just so you know. But what else can I put on? What else would I be feeling? Because I'm not trying to do the black. Even though I put it in here, you know, all by myself. Okay, so I can do more of the blue. can use these for layers, guys. And then this could be another cool layer here. A layer with a layer. Because, you know, the little time thing's fine for me. And... You don't even have to see what's underneath it. Sometimes it's just because things are kind of cool. So we can do all this stuff with this cloth, which is kind of a cool way to use some of those embellishments. Ooh, look at this plaid. So we can do that. See, it's building and building just with what we have. Just using, now add sand does not make any sense for this whatsoever, but maybe a little something like that. I like May, my birthday's in May. All right, so that got us through a nice little amount of rue of those. Hello, go me. So I have that. And since I'm not going to use any more of these for now, I can go just like that. Now, I'm going to end up probably having my title here or here. Um, our inspiration, our sketch, our fab stuff from Christine here has title up here. But I'm going more like this on the sketch. 
I do have this going on though. So I need to stack all of these things up so that they make sense. Um, maybe I can do the home and I can back that. Ooh, and we have um, some shakers to make too. My little puppy does have my heart and I need to ink in these pieces. So I have that and possibly we'll put up, ooh, like, like this is one of those things like where I can cover that word may. It's just like a toy because my boy plays and plays and plays. I've got one little piece here. I don't even know where I picked that from. I can go like that. It'll bring some white. And then I have enamel dots and sequins. So let's see what we have going over here. Guys, I have a lot. And this is going to really kind of beef up my layers, which is it's going to be all good. So <laughs> let's see what we can do. Time for fun is adorable. I need to get some acetate out real quick so we can work on this. Now I get these 12 by 12 sheets for acetate. I know you can't see it beautifully, but... I get them and I use them and use them. There we go. There's that piece. I have that one. I liked the idea of having like two of them though. So I have that one and I have this one. And I'm thinking that's gonna get me some nice little shaker action. So maybe I'll put a shaker here and a shaker up there, build up my layers, it'll be great. You know what I could also do? I could do a third one with this one right here to bring in, well, is that white or is it off-white? I don't know, but we're gonna do it. So we'll do one more right there. I'm gonna make a bunch of shakers. I'm gonna get all of these pieces down and I will meet you right back here. So I've got lots of these pieces taken care of. I do not have the wood pieces tacked down yet. I was trying to decide where I wanted to go with titles, but I do have my three shakers he finally used up some sequins. I used up that little bin of them. I decided to leave the pine trees in because there's pine trees all over where I live. So I figured that is fine. And I think I'm going to have my title come from other kits. So I have relax. I'm going to have relax blue because he just popped. Yeah, okay, I relax. So relax blue is where we're going to go with this. So I did not have an alpha in this kit. And this is one of those things that's great. Once you do a couple, did I not have any use? How does somebody use up all the use? Okay. Let's see, I could go with an O and just cut off the top. It's gonna look a little hinky though. So hold on. I might have to do that. Cause let's see. Maybe I can do relax, good boy. I'll do that, relax, good boy. Because, you know, blue gets his bad rap <laughs> because he uh, he gets himself wound up sometimes and has to pester Mason repeatedly, but he just wants to play. Relax, and then good boy, B. And people have asked, why don't you just take them all out of the package? And my answer is, I don't know. It's just what I do. All right, so we have Relax, Good Boy. We have my heart right about there because it can nestle into that spot. And this was a minte piece. And I didn't necessarily need the um, artwork on it. So a little bit more bright white actually is a good thing for me. So I'm going to have Relax. And we can have relax be part of this whole heart thing. I think that would be cute. Relax. And then we can see about having, ooh, that would be really kind of cool. Hold on. I'm going to see if something will fit. If I did around this circle, just bear with me, okay? I like if you can use circles for things, if at all possible. So I'm going to try to nestle this in tight tightly so if i had good and then this went right here and then i could do boy right like this good b o y okay good it fits so i'm gonna have relax going across here after i ink it or do i do relax good boy 
Now I'm gonna have it go right there after I ink it in. So let me do my inky work and then we just have a few little bits and pieces to tuck in to finish this off. Okay guys, to finish this up, I wanted to show you, I grabbed some flair from Scrap and Happy Studio, that was great. I told you guys that I did end up using up the rest of the sequin mix in here, so that was fab. I have got my wood pieces all inked up with Distress Oxide, that was fun. What else? There's something to show you. Oh, the words this happened that are down here was from this bin that I have the goodies from previous kits, as well as this Today's Adventure. The Today's Adventure was actually on, what was it on? Oh, a Simple Stories package. So fantastic. You never know what you can use. And that brings in a little bit of the cream color. So we have cream and white and it works. So the last bits we have to do is just get our enamel dots on here and we are just gonna be finished with this so it's kind of fantastically like easy how well this one went together but guys we're using sketches so if you are trying to get some serious scrapping in and you you know you have <laughs> you've got some work to do then grab some sketches do not ever be afraid to use them. They are your friend when it comes to getting scrapping done quickly. You don't have to really spend a lot of time making decisions unless you want to. But in this situation, I'm just enjoying just going boom, 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 getting this done. So I want to use as much of these enamel dots as I can. So I am starting with, you know, making sure I have enough to do clusters of three. And then I will go ahead and use more and more and more. So I've got one more big guy here. Let me go ahead and just tuck it slightly under there. That will be fine. I can use a medium one and then a small one. And I'll just keep going like that. So guys, this is what I have for this layout. I hope you like what I came up with. I thought it was super fun. We've got the orange and blue tones, totally looks like the Detroit tires to me. And it came together, one, two, three, four. I need another little cluster, so maybe over here. It came together really easily and I had lots of fun creating it. You guys, I've got one, two, three, four little pieces in these colors. And I think what I'm gonna do is go like that with a couple blues. And then I'm gonna go over here and get a white to finish. Now, you know, I like that good boy right there. Let me see, I don't know what I'm doing. I just know that I want to use them up because that's what we set out to do. So that's super cute. Those are gone. I have a couple there which are perfectly fine where they are. Come on, little guys. Just wanna make them nice and even. You know what I could do that I might like? I'm gonna put them up on this to decorate this little piece. Sometimes, oops, if you just decorate up something that's kind of plain with a couple of enamel dots. Oh guys, where did my, oh, it's on my hand. Um, and then guys, look at this. It's stuck to a piece of blues fur. It can jazz up something and make it look like a little something, something extra. There we go. All right, so we've got a couple little pieces on there. Perfectly fine, no big deal. Um, is there anything else to tell you guys? We have one, two, three, four, five. I did have five. Ugh. Okay, those are coming back off and we're just going to use them in one other cluster. There we go. Maybe up that way, has to be slightly offset. Okay guys, that's what I have. I'm gonna have a few still shots to follow and I will be back ever so soon with another video. So lots of fun layering, lots of things used and it's just fun and cute. Bye for now friends.